We good? All right, thank you very much. Nice to have you guys. Everybody, what? Good evening, good afternoon. Super excited to have you guys again live at Fairview Studios. So today, we're just going to be going directly to risk management, trade management, and money management. Everything that you know that has been missing in your trading journey. But before we do that, I'd love fail to let you guys introduce yourself in the comment section. Me right now, I'm currently in Lagos, Nigeria, at the Fat Peep Studios. Where are you guys at? Let me know where you guys are at in the comment section. I know so many people do join from all, all over the world. Like we have people from United States, from Canada, from Lagos, Nigeria, from Abuja, Nigeria, from Oshun, from Ghana, from Cameroon. Rune from Ivory Coast. I'm happy, thankful to mention that, but then <laughs> but it is what it is. So we have people from Uganda. Bring, bring it on, bring it on. Let the list keep coming. But congratulations to Ivory Coast, by the way. So we, we respect that you guys really played well. And maybe some other time we get, anytime we get to challenge you guys, maybe we'll be able to bring up, bring home the cup. I know our guys are really working. But then kudos, nice job. But is that guy that was so fast? I think we need to look for that guy. That guy, that guy is really good. He has fast legs and everything. But now, nice. and I'm never really interested in football. But yesterday, imagine me giving tutorials. No, this guy should pass this way. He should pass this way. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. So everyone fully represented. And in the same spirit, we all loved the football match. I also want us to chase money this week with that same spirit, that same energy. So that's why I'm out here to give you guys free content as to how we can all chase this money in unison. So now, uh, it's just going to be pretty straightforward. I'm not, I'm not so alone today, too, in the stream. I have the crew member, uh, I mean, everybody right here, they're looking at me, they're also learning directly from us here. And then I also do have Shams. Shams, how's it going? How are you doing, Shams? Okay, I'll see you there now. Can you Shams? guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Hello. But you want to unmute and turn on your camera, too. All right, so Shams is in the building. Maybe he's probably looking for those setups. Uh, maybe when he's live or when he's back, we definitely will be able to bring him back on. So today, let's go to the slide. We are going to be treating, understanding the risk management and trade management in Forex trading this 2024. This is how best you can approach uh, risk management, trade management this 2024. People downstairs, are they streaming? Okay, good. I also have people downstairs too as well, streaming. <laughs> so there's a lot of people in the studio today. And then the next slide is pretty simple. Introduction to risk management. I would love Shams to take this one. Please, can you call up Shams? Try, try to bring him up again. Call him up, call him up. Shams. Uh, I can't seem to hear him. But meanwhile, we still have people from, from a lot of... Okay, for those who are saying that the slide is not so clear, what you could do is to switch it to a high-quality mode on YouTube. That would be from YouTube. I don't think Zoom guys will complain the same. That should be from YouTube, on YouTube. But before, I also do... I don't know. So many other people are saying that it's not so clear. You change the quality. Hope it's not from our end because everything looks so clean here. If it's what I'm seeing here, is it guys are calling that is not clear? Then you have to check again because this quality is so clean. Let me do sixty-six. How about this? This is cool. But maybe they should be able to see this way. But it's really not so clear here. All right, so uh, so since Sean, maybe Sean is still battling with his usual network ish. Uh, okay, let me go with this risk management. All right, so 
So risk management in forest trading refers to the strategies and technology, uh, techniques used by traders to protect their capital from potential loss. This are, that's risk management, and just a direct definition to what it is. And then the importance of risk management in forest trading to preserve capital. First, let me explain what risk management is. I remember being in a market condition where you, whatever you predict, you said it was, going to, it was going to sell. And about 30 minutes, when you get into the trade for a sell, the market first went against you, about a couple of about 30 to 50 people against you, wiping your account out. And you didn't get to get your stop loss. Maybe your stop loss was, you didn't even know where you put your stop loss. You put us, all you just knew was you put your stop loss at the place. But in about 30 to 50 people, away from your entry point, your account was already blown. So, and then if you check back again about an hour or two hours, you find out that your predictions were actually correct. And then start thanking your favor, moving about 200 pips directly in your favor. What happened right there is because you do not understand risk management. That is just a simple meaning. So if you're in that category, this class is for you. Also, if you're also in a category of whenever you place trade, you don't really know how much you are risking. This class for you, whether on derive, on, on, on crypto, Recording in on forex, in everything, on indices, this class is 100% for you. So that's the importance now is it helps you to preserve capital. It reduces emotional impact and it enhances consistency. So since something that you know you can measure, you already have a system or a strategy to it, that means consistency in the long run. So that's regarding that. Techniques for risk management in forest trading. Number one, position sizing. This one, we use this one almost every now and then. Before you get into a trade, you want to use position size calculator to actually estimate what are the potential losses that you would have actually, would you actually incur in terms of amount if the trade will so go to your stop loss. Just know that anything about risk management, we are all being pessimistic. We calculate the worst case scenario that can ever happen to you as a trader. So you're not looking at the gains when it's about risk management. Most of the time, you're looking at the loss, what you stand to lose. Because whatever, whenever you know what you can start to lose, you can always gauge and control. The next thing is you use stop loss orders. To that's one of the techniques you can use as risk management by placing a stop loss. Like a scenario I gave a while ago, someone who's place who places stop loss somewhere he doesn't even know, but then market move against you about fifty to 30, 30 to fifty pips, and then you already wiped out. I didn't get your stop loss, but then you had a margin call. So that this class is for you. The next one diversification. You have to spread your capital across different trading accounts to, minim to minimize exposure to single market. For example, like what I do. Now, some people would wonder, why exactly is Jeffrey now trading crypto? Is he, is he trying to switch from Forex to crypto? No. You can be a Forex trader and still trade crypto. You can still be a crypto trader and still trade Forex. Anyone works. So that is diversification. That's the last point. So that's why this class is really very important. This will answer most of the other people that are thinking that I'm probably living Forex. So that's not even true. I can't leave my first love, Forex. That's always been my love. That's what makes the most love and uh, most money. Um, I mean, love Love is equal to money. That will bring the most love. <laughs> that will bring the most love in the house. So I can't. It's just about diversification. So, for example, you have your last 5K. What I would decently advise is if you are good at bo trading both sides, like trading uh, crypto and you're so good at Forex, I'll take you to diversify. Take some money into crypto and take some money into derivative if you want. Take some money into forex trading. All right, it depends on the one you are so good at. That's the one I would determine how much you should specify. For me, I'll be taking the biggest amount of money to forex because that's my that's my major. All right, and I will take some to derive, and I'll take a very tiny one to to crypto stuff like that. But for diversification, so that anytime imagine bull run happen or bear bear run happening in crypto, so you don't you don't you don't start shouting. Then risk to reward ratio. This part is another part to it. The risk reward ratio is a key metric in risk management. It's representing the potential profits compared to the potential loss on a trade. Let's want to run this one down, then I'll move to the okay, importance of risk to reward. Uh, maybe let me just show you guys. I love to show than to just describe. Let me show. Okay, thanks. So this is on British pound, this pound dollar, right? It's not looking at the current chart I left of this one here. Are you sure this chart is correct? Hold on. Okay. It's in vast. 
Okay, this one under. Okay. Hold on, let me put uh, a line on this one. Okay, this is reversed. The color is reversed. Unless there's something wrong. Let's change these colors first. Symbols, okay. How did this how did this person do this setting? Like just come on then I think the color is reversed because this is looking yeah, this is this bear. Yeah. Just imagine the chaos, the chaos that this would occur. Where? I don't think so. Something there's something that that must have been toggled on. Let me check. Color based. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Aha, better. Invert scale. So what happened was the scale was inverted here. This setting here. Or oh, I. I know this is actually a cell market. Before I left them, I already saw like a cell because it's Monday else. I'd have caught this trick from here. I saw that trade already when I was I woke up. Okay, by this time I was checking. Aha, uh -huh, it's a drop. So talking about risk management, like what we have all, all, all been talking about is simple. Before you hop on any trade, you are supposed to know how much you want to risk in an account. Say for example, of other as most people usually have. So we'll say go to Fabric FX Ocean Size Calculator. Here, fair calculator here. You want to scroll up and then you're going to impute your currency. You have to select the currency you're trading. If you're trading with a different currency from dollar, you cannot select any currency you want. So the pair, obviously, that I want to be using as an example is GBPUSD. So I want to say I'm trading like a hundred dollars. And then the risk percentage simply means how much do you want to risk on this account? How much? So the risk percentage in this case would now likely be like, this is a hundred dollars account. I want to, I'm, I'm comfortable at risking 10%. Obviously this risk percent is highly dependent on the type of trader that you are. If you're a very, you're a more conservative person, you want to risk on 1%, 0.5% there, but, but if you think that this account is, you are cool with flipping this account, you want to make crazy amount of percentage, then you can do this. Then the stop loss. This is where I need to go back to the chart. It's very, it's very crucial. So in the chart, you guys will notice that I said I was going, I was about to have a trade a while ago this morning on a short. So I didn't get to take that trade because it was Monday. Probably going against my trading plan. So I had had this trade right here. So where the stop loss? Where would I have placed my stop loss? The right place to place stop loss. Stop loss usually should be placed on a recent high that was just created on a most recent high. So in this case, if I'm to get in at this point. If I was to get in at this point, me, I want to check far back to my left hand side to see where is the highest point that this market has ever gotten to of recent, or what is what are the chances of breaking above this level. So me, I rather want to use this level. I want to use this level. Why wow, there's an is a point of hesitation. All right, so I'll just take price. I can take it a little bit more to that upside so that you can feel just know what I'm saying, but this is really difficult. Then if that level, the spread, if the spread at that time, I mean, sorry, if the peep movement at that time is about, say, 20 pips, so you're going to come here and you're going to put 20 pips here. I'm going to do 20. 20 pips, and you click on calculate. Calculate. And you guys will also notice that on here, it's telling you the amount you're going to be having at risk. So amount at risk simply means if you have $100, just as you specified here, and you want to risk 10%, and you also have 20 pips, 20 pips stop loss, uh, stop loss that means if this trade we saw against you, you'll be losing $10. All right? 
And then the lot size you're supposed to use to get this answer is you must use 0 0.05 as a trader. So the information you have to take away from here is number one, info, and number two, that information. These other ones are another way to, the, to say standard lot size. Everything means the same thing. So five micro lots simply means 0 0.05. 0 0.5 mini lots means 0 0.05 in our MT4 and our MT5, all right? So everything just simply means the same thing. So the information you have to take out first, take out that, am I willing to risk $10? That's the first question you want to ask. Can I let go of $10 for my $100? That means if this happened, I'll be left with $90. Will I be, will I still be happy? This is what you'll be left with if this happens. Remember a while ago, I told you guys, risk management dwells on the worst, the negative things that could happen. So you get to protect that so that if it happens, then you're not surprised. You already know because this is something I'm already in. This is something I already have signed up for. So that's that about the risk management. Now I'm sure the slide will make a lot more sense to you. So that all that slides all about what I was just about to say. Okay, and check here the slide. Importance of risk to reward. You know, I talked about risk to reward a while ago. So risk to reward, let me explain, let me go back to the chart and so that I can explain to you guys what risk to reward is. So this instance where I was trying to give you guys, okay, maybe I got in on the trade here. Trading is all about patience and then you and focusing. It doesn't really have to be, you don't have to tell us blood and skin, just focus. And don't think it's about smartness, about school. No, no, it's not. Okay. Good. Now check. Because anybody can do this. Whether, just to tell you guys that are they whether you, you, you are a BSc holder, Masters, PhD, or anything, or even if it's secondary school, you can do this thing. Tell our patterns, understanding your human behavior. Don't be greedy, understand your emotion, you'll be able to do it. Just know if you can pinpoint. In fact, I always tell people if you can open your Facebook account, you are on Facebook, you can trade. Because it's still the exact same thing. If you can open an account, you know when to get in, you know when to exit, you'll be able to trade. Then the next thing, what differentiates all human beings is how to manage these things I'm about to teach you now. So imagine this one, the stop loss value here is. So the peep value in this point is just this one. It's 15 peep. 15 peep, the stop loss. So risk to do what simply means you are risking 15 peeps. So for example, you go to the market, you bought something for $150. And then you go back to your selling point, your shop, you want to sell it for $150. Is that, is that, are you making profit or not? Are you making profit? Is that smartness? Are you, are you, are you doing business? Is that business? Thank you, obviously, no business. No business. All right? So you want to switch the Wi-Fi. People have to complain that it's so blurry. I just said it now. Someone said it's so blurry. Switch the Wi-Fi before I continue. I don't need 5G network on all of them. The Zoom guys, I also complain. Zoom guys, can you guys see clearly? People on Zoom, can you see it clearly? For me, it's one person for me. Let me check the Zoom. Zoom guys can see clearly. They say it's blurry too. So, huh? It stopped? Yeah, we can see. Lizzie. Okay, easy, easy. Let's, let's hear from easy then. Easy, is it blurry on your end? Yeah, we can, yeah, we can see it very well. Is it? Yeah, we can see it very well. I can see it. Yeah. Can you hear me, is it? Yeah, I can hear you. We can, is see, it, it. can see it very well. Oh, it's very clear, the screen. Yeah, it's very clear, it's very clear. Okay, is it saying it's very clear? Okay, Sorry. then it should be on YouTube stream. Which laptop are you using on YouTube stream? Check the Wi-Fi. Make sure it's on the 5G. Manage the 5G connections. 
the people. Okay. It's true, yeah? It's a lot more better now on YouTube. You can see it's better on YouTube now. Okay, somebody said now it's clear. Thank you. Thank you very much. So since it's not clear, let me just rush this part. I know you guys already understand. So you go to the market. Let's say, for example, you go to Lagos market and you want to buy stuff for 150 naira. You now went back home to your selling point. You're not selling for 150 naira. That's loss. Because you didn't factor in your transportation, you didn't factor in your stress, you didn't factor in your profits, you didn't factor there's just so many things that's wrong with this. So what I'm saying is if you buy for 150, sell for at least 300. So that's what we are saying, one to two weeks to reward. So this is your risk, then this is your reward. So when I say what's your risk to reward, this is what I'm saying. So as a good trader and a professional trader, you have you having at least one to two. You have this thing here. So now since we are having 15 pip stop loss. Make sure your stake profit must be at least 30 pips. So this is where it's calculated for you. So trading view here will tell you how much your risk to reward is. So if you say risk to reward ratio is 2.4, see that simply means you are risking one to gain not just two, but 2.46. And that's a good thing. That means it's a good risk to reward. So, so many people don't even know before now, you didn't even know how much you're even risking. Don't talk of how much you stand to gain as a reward. And that's disastrous. Let me explain why it is disastrous to you. So, for example, let's say you took about 10 trades. I'll do this analysis for 10 trades. Let's say you traded for 10 consecutive trades, and then one was a win. One was a win. The first one, the second one lost. Third one lost. Win, loss, win, win. And then you now hit losing streaks. Start having losses, 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 win again. What do you think this trader, what will happen to this trader's mind? If you have a one-to-one -one risk to reward, like this is your risk to reward, one-to-one. One. one. If you have one-to-one -one risk to reward, I want to use the same example for you. This will be very disastrous for you because when you win here, then we are trying to do out of 10 trades. Or let me do 100 trades because 100 trades is better that you can allow us to play out. That is, here that you won, you won one, right? Here he lost one. Here again, one, one, this negative one, negative one, this is plus one. Here is plus one, right? Here is negative one plus two together. That's then here, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, plus one. All right? So that would mean this guy, in wins, you have one, two, three, four. Five. This is five wins. So you want five. Five take profit. Look at the losses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This person obviously you've lost in this account. So overall, yeah, you, you are down minus two. You are sit down. So this way you hear people say, Oh, I'm losing. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm losing. I'm losing. So your problem right now, if you are having that situation, your problem might be what? risk to reward you don't know how to calculate your risk to reward and that's disastrous that's a big problem all right let's use the same example i hope i'm able to get let's use the same example so out of 100 trades now that shows that your win rate is low it's very poor it's negative so now let's let's twist the same thing so let me just try to write this now so that i don't let me write it out win loss loss win loss win loss let me raise it let me try to raise from here I want to make an example for someone that does one to two weeks to the world. That's the next example I want to make. For someone that does one to two weeks to the world. So, because you can't always tell when these losses would come. So it's important to do that. So if you have one to two weeks to the world, simply means you risk one to gain two reward. All right? So if you win, that's plus two. You lose minus one. You lose again minus one. You're not scared. So this your effort here was taken out here. No problem. You win again plus two. You lost again minus one. You win again plus two plus two. All right. Here minus one minus one minus one minus one plus two. Now calculate. You have, remember we have five wins. So two times five. That's ten. 
10 win. Or 10 profits. So about 10 pips. So you have loss. How many loss? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. And on seven ag aggregates, you are still positive three. Three percent. Though you have more losses, there are more times that you have more market get to hit you out here. You got hit out here, got hit out here, got hit out here. But then you are still standing on top with plus three. That's the mathematics of trading. Now, I wouldn't want you guys to complicate this thing because it's very simple. All I just need you to do in your head is already just come predetermine what is that thing I just asked mathematics I just did now. That thing is a lot of thing, is a lot of information that you should be paying a lot heavy for. But then it's here for you. What I need you to do is come here, or you just do this position size calculator. Anytime it tells you to risk this amount, standard this lot size that you are to put, to put in to put on this lot size. All right. Just go ahead and put 0 0.05 and then check whilst you are doing your analysis. It's not just enough to, to say, oh, it's gonna be a buy, it's gonna be a sell. No, 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 it's not just enough. Also ask yourself questions because there are some trades that that never be worth your time. Do you know there's some trade that shouldn't be worth your time? Just like there are some business now that should not be worth your time. Imagine somebody coming to meet me now telling me, uh, we should go and they'll pay us, we should go and we should go and dig gutter. Yes, they'll be will be paid, but it's not worth my time. You understand? But some of you don't even mind, you don't even know where you are where you are to come and dig gutter. <laughs> Tell me you do work that is meant for other smaller boys. So there are some trades that you shouldn't even be involved in as a trader, as somebody that knows what he or she is doing. Imagine. So if you have a trade opportunity that you saw somewhere around um, here, let's say you saw this trade now, you got in here. The next question I want you to be asking hands for when you leave this class is, okay, what will my stop loss be? If my stop loss is 50 people, no problem. Can I catch 100 people from that trade? Then if it's a yes, go ahead and take the trade. But if it's a no, don't do that. Don't take the trade. Leave the trade alone. All right? Don't take the trade. Leave the trade alone. It's not worth your time. Just make sure it's always one to two risk to reward. Then when you're really good, they want to do one to three risk to reward, one to five, one to ten. That happens a lot in fair people with race swings class because it's a swing trader. We have seen people doing one to 18, one to one to 20. So even if you lose 20 times, you're still, you, you, you don't have anything to worry. Even if you have the other trades come and it's being a loss, 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 you're already at an advantage, you understand? So that's why that one is very, this risk to reward is really, really important. All right, so... Not talking too much. I like uh, Shams, uh, Raymond, to go ahead and call trade. Let's play some trades, just so you guys know that's risk management as regarding everything. I know there are more slides here to be presented, but I don't want to go too deep, too deep, because I want, I know you guys really want to make money. Let me just show some of the slide, the importance, the formula for risk to reward. Don't worry, we're going to treat all of this maybe some other time. I don't want it to be too long. I want us to really delve on chat. Let's take trade. Let's make some money today. Are you guys ready? If you're ready, just type number one on the chat box. If you're ready, like we take some trade, just type number one on the chat box. Type number one on the chat box. Let me see. Zoom, guys. Are you guys ready? On Zoom. Everyone is ready. Oh, okay. Zoom, Zoom. Oh, nice. Oh, the Facebook. I mean, on, on YouTube, everyone is ready now. Okay, look. Now, let's go. Let's take some trades. So, I'll be doing Forex. I'll be, I'll be calling signal on Forex on GBPUSD. Shams will be calling signal on Derive, and Williams will be calling signal on crypto. Before I proceed, we have a Telegram channel where we send all the signals on a regular, regular basis. If you want to be a part of my mentorship, don't join because of signal, because signals are free. Join because you really want to learn this, you really want to be free. You really want to learn how to generate these signals, what are they seeing, that's why you are joining, all right? And it's pretty straightforward. In our website, all I just need to do is to come straight to this point, Come to firepipsfx.com. That link will be dropped now on Zoom and will also be dropped on, on, on the YouTube, most of on YouTube link. So if you are pretty new, you don't even know what Forex is, join free class first. On this free class, we're going to teach you everything you need to know for free. All right? From what is for the tools you need, what is Forex up onto your candlesticks, how to read all these things that you think it's complex, it is not. All right? And the next thing is you want to click on enroll. So if you're not yet signed up yet, this is the mentorship plan you should be at. Now, we don't have dollar card available. If you have any card at all, if you live in any part of the world, we, are, we now have dollar card available. So you, all you just need to do is to toggle it on. And then we also now have crypto, the method I want to pay in with 
So if I tap on here and I click on crypto, so that means I can pay with any coin of my choice. If I click on fiat, that means if I turn on dollar, that means I can pay with dollar card, any any card at all, any, all over the world. All right, so we have the monthly plan, which is for nine dollars. We have the three months, we have the six month plan, and now and we also have the twelve month plan, three nine nine. What we do here is where we get to learn life and where to also trade life with all the educators at Fire Pips. So that's what we do. But if you want signals, come on the Telegram channel. Can you see this Telegram channel? Give them the screen. So on Telegram channel here, you see this is where I give up broadcast. And but then let me explain something to you before because it's something that brought me here. Something really brought me here now. So you see, we have crypto signals coming in. You see, Algo USDT. So this signal was sent 11:26. That's about about two hours ago, or less less than two hours ago, right? So the entry is 0 0.1761. All you just need to do is to go to your Bybit account, check if this entry tallies with what you have right now, set your TP, set your stop loss, and then you trade. And then you see people giving testimonials. So these were some of the trades that were called during the weekend. This was on Bank USDT. They made 32 percentage. And then I also sent signals. So how to take advantage of all the signals that you keep seeing here. So everything that you see here are all live. And I also did send signal on Friday, on Thursday, on GBP USD. So this is on VIX 100. I also gave out the signal to on VIX 100 where we get to make made money live on VIX. You guys saw that signal that I gave on VIX. And uh, William also gave a signal. Everybody gave a signal. So this is the Telegram channel you should be in. If you want to be a part of this Telegram channel, use the link in the description box. Or this Telegram channel should also be sent to them and pin it at the top. Let them see it. Okay, good, good, good. So now let's head straight to today's uh, stuff. Let's let's make some money. Okay, this is direct. This is derive, and then this is where's my chart? This is my chart. So William, you want to go first? Okay, William, come on. Let's do crypto first, and then so first, first hold on, hold on. Let me let me give out a signal on on, on this one. Hold on, let me give out a signal first. I, I'm seeing something building up. I'm seeing a build up now. So guys, sell GBP USD. So, so GPPUSD, not bad. So, I would have preferred that we had the sale at that top, but then it's not still it's not still late because that top it was really lonely at the top there. Where if we could have actually gotten an entry there, it would, be, it would have made a lot of sense. But now let's target something like here. Let's do a tiny risk, tiny risk to catch this amount of profit. This is not moving. Why? Okay, let me make this one go up. Nah, I'm struggling with this. Let me delete it. So just know that this market is for short. It's for short. So if you're here, yeah, put your stop loss on this recent high. Let me just mark it out with pen because it's not responding now. So this should be your stop loss zone, all right? And your take profit should be this one, 1.26, this point, all right? Let me try adjusting it. But then I'm not going to be trading this signal because I don't trade today. You may not see me cut it. And then the next question I want you to do is what I just taught you now is a place you need to apply it. So you are risking 13 pips to catch how much, to catch how much, to catch um what's 11 pips so that means your risk reward is 0 0.87 so it's not worth it all right so what i would really ideally advise this is if you are going to scalp it you can do it but what i really advise you wait for a pull up for price to pull up again price should pull up to this point and then you'll be able to trade your stuff so if you wait for price to pull up to by just you waiting for price to pull up to this line you have been able to save yourself that stress of in fact this is the best to do wait for price to go to this line from here then you short to this point that will mean you are targeting 17 pips whilst you are risking just seven pips on this trade all right so let's see that if price come back here a bit you short to come down here and then i'm sure that price should go up i don't just expect that price should just keep tanking 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 i'm expecting a little bit retracement come down and then go up before tomorrow we start coming down again that's just my prediction in that so that's regarding the forex market so let's, Williams, come on. All 
right, so William is going to be taking you guys on crypto and how to do it on Bybit. And you talk about, I wanted to talk about the signals you've been sending, how they can take advantage of it, and how they can also take any trade right now that is currently playing. Are you good? Yeah, very well. Oh, thank you. Welcome, everybody. So, based on the signal, based on the signal that I'll be giving since throughout this week or last week, basically, I'll be hitting take profits. So, if you miss out on this one, trust me, you're going to. Ah, I'm not sure you make money this year. So, don't play Bitcoin USD. What I'm expecting on Bitcoin is buy. So, I'll show you the reason why I'm expecting a buy on Bitcoin. And you should, should take advantage of it because me, I'll also be trading it. I remember Bitcoin is we, we trade every day, Monday to Sunday. That's where we trade Bitcoin. So, we don't wait for. During the weekend, we are active. The weekdays, we are active. Elon is buying and active. <laughs> so that's what we do. So in 50, these 15 minutes, I have to go to the... I'm a day trader. I have to go to the daily time frame. When I go over to the daily time frame... So I have to put my psychological levels and my trend line and the rest of them. So I look for my trend line and my psychological levels, right? Okay, so I'll bring it here then from this place. That place we're plotting a, a, a trend line. So that's the reason why I'm plotting this trend line here. Ah, this chart is in. Okay. Uh, Just press that stop again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we'll go back to the four hours time frame. We'll go back to the four hours time frame. Yes, you can see. It. See, please don't miss out on this signal for real. Don't miss out. This is, this is a pure buy. Don't just miss out on this signal. For... So I remember that Wednesday is value. So make money. <laughs> May you take over an hour, it's necessary. So one hour time frame, I'll put my, second, my trend line two as well. I'll bring it down here. Let's plus it to the recent one. So these ones are irrelevant to me right now, so I have to delete them. So this is one that's relevant to me, this trend line. Right. Then I come over to the 15 minutes. When I come over to the 15 minutes, what am I looking for? 15 minutes. Basically, very simple. In alignment with my well, my psychological levels, my trend line, I'm a w, I'm formation of a W path. I'm beginning for a buy. So let me just put it. So I'll just come here to put my to be my long position. At least make sure you get a weekly order of 1 to 2.5, at least on Bitcoin. Make sure you're 1 to 2.5. Your stop loss should be 77 pips. 77 pips, right? The weekly order in Bitcoin is so, so, so amazing for you. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm expecting. Just a buy, a buy, guys. Please don't sell if you're selling on a long thing. Don't sell. So how will I place how will I place this on my MT4 or my buy bits right now? So I'll show you how to place it on your buy bits and how to take advantage of this movement that's coming on now. <clears throat> so when market comes retraces down here. When market retraces down here, this is what I'm expecting. Market retraces down here. Once I see like engulfing candlestick or a weak rejection around this area here, there's a trend like it's like once I plus my if I plus my psychological level, there's a psychological level around that area. There's a psychological level around that area. You plug it. So you double click, change the coordinates. Okay. 
कहा से लिम्बी दिखो दिन इतनी गई हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन यू बिग इट दिखो एम आके प्राइस यू प्लेस इट रिकॉर्डिंग स्टॉप्ड रिकॉर्डिंग इन प्रोग्रेस डाउन ये जी नेचर All right. So, okay. So bring it down here. Just place it here. Just put your psychological level, your psychological level around that area. There's a psychological level around that area. But I don't know why it's not allowing to float. So I place it here. Hey. So I place it here. I try to I want to delete this. I'll go out to my keyboard. Okay, so I will have to delete this here. Zero. Just forty one eight forty one eight fifty point zero. That's what you're gonna use. Forty one eight fifty point zero. Point zero. So these are your psychological levels. The psychological levels are 50 pips different, please. 50 pips, not 100. For Bitcoin, 50 pips difference. As you can see, there's a psychological level around here. There's a trend line around here, and there's a formation of a W pattern. So it's safe to say you should go in for a buy. And the overall direction of the market is telling us a buy. So double click on this one. This one will be what? <clears throat> for 7,000. 900.0, we enter. So the difference between this is 50 pips. Okay, yeah, from this area, we bring it down. So this is what we're expecting. So upon that candlestick kind of re um, reaction I'm, I'm telling you about, we around this area here, we're expecting to, uh, to buy. That's the um, that prediction for Bitcoin US dollars. As simple as that, guys, that's it. Let me show them how to plot, how to place the trade on the, on the buy bit. Buy bit. Yeah. Yeah, connected. Why don't you don't? Mm -hmm. He's All right, so you just come over to buy bits. When, when you get to buy bits, you click on what derivative. Make sure you make sure your pay is on derivative. If your if your money is on unified trade, what you have to do is just transfer it to what. If your money is on funding, you have to transfer it to what unified trading, so you can be able to place a trade. So you come over to Bitcoin USDT, then you're isolated. Then isolated, yeah. When it comes to isolated, okay. No, 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 it was, it was lagging. So now we now use 10x on the 10x. Let's say available USDT we have here is you go over to your derivative just click on markets this the current market price down that we are on as well 
we have 47,000. Now it's safe to buy. We have 47,892, right? So you just click on market order here. Once you click on market order, we want to use what? Order by value to enter, not Bitcoin. So you have to change it. Order by value, that's what we're using to enter. We confirm. Then put the amount of USDT you want to. Well, now, if you say you want to use like $10, what you have to do is this 10x on this isolated, yeah, this 10x times $10, that will give you $100. What you be putting is $100. The other value you have to use is $100 because if you put only $10, which is the amount of money you want to risk, you won't be, you won't be able to open any position at all. So don't open any contract for you unless you have to times it by the leverage given to you, yeah? So what you have to do, once you times it, 10x times $10, we give you $100. We want to take profit and stop loss. Uh, I want to share it. All right, can I see my screen now? Can I see my screen now? Check. So as I was saying, please, so you come over to buy bit, come over to make sure it's BTC USD and it's on what unify trading. So once you click on unify trading, Bitcoin USD, you click on isolated. Once it's isolated, make sure you're using 10x or what? You can change, you can decide to change your, your leverage to 32 or 30, but just use 10x if you're beginner, please. Then now click on save. Then the amount of money, if for hundred dollars. If you're risking, if you have hundred dollars, you want to risk ten dollars out of it. What you have to do is come over to with the leverage they use, which is ten x. You times it by ten dollars, which is going to give you hundred dollars by order value. So that hundred dollars, what you're going to impute there. So that hundred dollars, you that hundred dollars is what you're going to impute. So when you give you $100, you now put your, your take profit and stop loss. So what's our take profit? You put your take profit to be... Which one should in the pitch? Where we are currently? All right, so you now put your, your take profit to the current market price I told you, then click on buy. If you click on buy, it will just uh, it will put your position under this aspect here. So this is how to open position on Bitcoin US dollars using what? Using buy bit. It's very, very simple. So go back to trading view to see what market is doing. So this is our current market price. So once market start giving us sign of rejection here, yeah, this is safe to enter now. It's safe to enter. Once the market start giving us some market 
some weak rejection around here. It's safe to, it's safe to enter. The stop loss should be at 47,806. 47,806. So this is what we're expecting on Bitcoin US dollars, basically. So don't sell, please. If, if you're in Bitcoin, just, just buy. Just buy, please. Buy, all right? So that's it. Do you have any question? You can let me know. Only buy? Yeah, buy. Yeah, buy. Bitcoin is a buy. All right, for you, Shams. All right. Shams. Shams. Good evening. Can you hear me? Is Shams here? Can you guys hear me? Yes, Shams here. Can you guys hear me? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you're joining me from. Um, there's no light here. So can I go ahead and share my screen? I doubt if you, please, if you can hear me, kindly type one on the chat box. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. You just give me a few minutes. Let me share my screen. Okay, I'm already sharing my screen right now. So if you can see me, let me check it on YouTube so I will be sure you guys are seeing me. Meanwhile, I'm seeing a buy on US on V100 right now. A buy is already playing out. It was supposed to be when we are live. Can you guys hear me? Hello. 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 Shams, we can hear you. Just go ahead. We can hear you, Clay. Just go ahead. Share your screen and go ahead. His network is messy again. All right, thank you guys. You can see William's analysis is already playing out nicely. We're having a flash up and there, there it goes. Thank you very much, Williams, for that. So let's go back on the Forex thing. Um is on pound. This one, just swap. Okay. So uh, I would rather have you guys wait for price to get to this point before shorting. All right. So that's the analysis regarding this one. So there are some things I want to talk about before we call it a day. All right. I. Let me take questions and answers before regarding anything risk management before we go. Give me the Zoom, guys. People that are on Zoom. Okay. Unmute Mona Chiso Victor. Yeah. 
Which are you there? Can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, boss. Yeah, good afternoon. I can hear you 100%. Thanks for your teaching. Um, I understand more of today's topic on how to place your risk management. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So my question is on buy bid. Mm -hmm. What if I don't have I have less than fifty dollar in my wallet on buy bid? How will buy I bid? place my leverage and also my SL and take profit? Let's okay. say I have something like thirty dollars on my buy bid. How will that go for me? Okay, what you're saying is if he has less than thirty dollars in his buy bid, how will we be able to place trade? You still can place trade. All right. So William, do you want to answer yeah. how you can place trade? Okay, go ahead. All right. So how you be able to place trade on buy bits is pretty much simple. You go over to your unified trading. You go over to your unified trading. Let me share my screen on Zoom. Let me be able to share my screen on Zoom. All right, so you go back to this, this is the interface of your buy bits. Make sure that you are on derivative. Come to derivative, here's the perpetual. That's what you're on. Then choose the currency, choose the crypto pair that you're trading. If it's Bitcoin, US dollar, you just come here to change it. If whatever um, cryptocurrency pair that you're trading, you, this way you can change it. So you now put Bitcoin, US dollars. So when I put Bitcoin, US dollars, you now come and put to isolated. The reason for isolated is that. If by peradventure market goes against you, you're not going to be losing everything in your portfolio. But if you choose I am cross margin, which this is what we have here, we have isolated, we have cross margin, and we have portfolio uh, margin too. So this cross margin is that whatever amount you lose on your on your what do you call it, unified trading, it can still go directly to your what? To, to your funding to also hold position there. So that's why it's very it's very advisable to make use of isolated one trading so you now come and change your leverage to what's question there. his question is if i have 30 dollars yeah can i still place trade since i don't i don't want to risk 10 dollars out of my 30 dollars can i risk 10 percent of my 30 dollars can i risk three dollars that is three dollars yeah <laughs> so what you have to do is basically come to position size calculator yes you can use you can risk three dollars but if market goes against you a little bit you will lose that three dollars immediately so you can risk three dollars in Bitcoin. So what you have to do is come here, choose ten x. Once you choose ten x, you click on save. Then ten x times what times the three dollars you want to risk is what thirty dollars. So you come and put thirty dollars here. This order by value that we're using, order by value. What you see here by default is order by quantity. You have to change by order or quantity and put order by value. Once you put order by value is thirty dollars. Then you now come and put your take profit and stop loss. So if market, if you put your take, when you put your take profit and stop loss, a market comes and hits out that stop loss. What you be risking is three dollars. The position will be opened on that. This all contracts. Where this all contract is at. I hope your question is answered. That is, it's all about percent base. That's what he's just saying. Thank yes, you very much. Yeah, thank you. So do we have someone else? Mona Chisholm, do you understand? He's saying that it's percent base. So hundred dollars, whether you're risking if you're risking ten percent on hundred dollars, you also want to risk ten percent on thirty dollars, so percent base is possible. Okay, you say I'm here. Please come. Please come again. No, no, you have to watch the recording because there are many other questions. Let's take the next person. Oh, this is a free class, this is a zoom free class, man. So there are a lot of people who are on YouTube have not gone there. So how are Ignatius? Let's take Ignatius. Hat, are you there? All right. So good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How's it going, Hat? Fine, sir. Good. 
Let's go with your question. Sir, the, question I, the question I want to ask is that, are you hearing me? 100 percent Now, in third view that you set your stop loss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I set it like that in my third view, the number that my, that I'm going that's the the trail will stop me. Am I going to copy it and paste it on my metaphor or where will I where is the it stopped? Exactly. You will copy it and put it on your meta trader four. Give me this screen so that they can see it. So, for example, you are in an Excel. So you want to tap here and check what level is the price here. This place I will soon put out take profits. So what level is it at? You have to copy this price, 1.26255. Recording in progress. You go and write it in your stop loss panel. For take profits, where this one stop, you also copy it. 1.25999. You're gonna copy like that. That's how you do it. Make sense? Okay. It makes sense, sir. In okay. In that uh, crypto crypto distance, sir. Okay. How to do it in crypto? What too? if someone have? Uh, what if someone have like ten ten dollar, which is uh, ten USD? Can you place a uh, uh, trade on crypto? Ten USD. Can you place trade on? Yes, you can. You can you can place trade in ten dollars. Okay. Yes. Like I, I, like I will risk it ten, ten percent, right? You can risk any amount, but ten dollars is really small. I would advise you risk fifty percent because it's just ten dollars. Then if you risk fifty percent, that's five dollars. You can risk twenty percent. Recording so, in like, progress. Also know that you're also going to be making tiny, tiny like that. So. Since you're risking small, just for the main time. For the main time, until you. Until you blow. Yes, sir. Yeah, big ups. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. So let's have some other question. So update on BTC. You want to give update? So we are currently in profit. Maybe you called it. This is profit. Post this in a group already. Did you send it to the Telegram? That's what I'm just saying. Oh, you should have sent it a long time. Just kidding. So, so you are expecting... Don't send it again. Yeah, sure. Because people will think uh, it's still time for entry. So what we're expecting now is a little pull down. If market pulls down here, wait for the retracement. Wait for the candlestick burnout. Once you see a candlestick burnout, please, it seems to enter. Then tighten this your stop loss. Push it up. You just push it up a little bit. Just tighten your stop loss a little bit. So the idea about is that if market comes here and take out or, and take out on loss, that means this market is invalidated already. So once before you enter for this buy, please make sure it comes to this recent low, this recent high here, and start giving us a candlestick reaction around this area. Around this area here, or this area here. So what we're expecting is candlestick reaction around this area or this area. So you now double down again with multiple entries. So this is how you can maximize profits while trading Bitcoin too at the same time. But our our overall direction, we're expecting market to come to is come over to the one hour time frame. Man, so this is the word choke or it choke. So come here. At least one is to five. I told you at least one is to two point five. That's what Bitcoin needs to give you. For a particular day, all right. So this is what we're expecting. Around this area, you can decide to help out based on the candlestick reaction. So this is it. So based on the candlestick reaction you see around here, please it's safe to help out. Okay. So the risk road about the risk road on this trade is one is to three point eight four. So that's it basically for Bitcoin updates. I told you guys, if you're not trading this, there's no vow for you. You need to trade to have vow necessary. All right, if you have any question on Bitcoin, please kindly drop it. So I'll answer it immediately. Thank you. YouTube question. Any question on YouTube? 
Okay. Peter Koji, please. Can you miss Peter Koji? Yeah, good afternoon, Mr. Williams. Good Are you hearing me? Yeah, good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you. I guess it's because of the football. You couldn't answer me. I can't understand. So, what did you say? I said because of football, we could not answer me yesterday. I could not. We we, we talked. He said we had to watch football. Unfortunately, they fell, they fell our hands. So Are you patriotic? You you are calling me by that line. You are not patriotic. You meant to be patriotic. I was supporting my country. I am. I am. <laughs> so I'm still on the, I'm still on the same question. After forwarding my uh, account, I could not link it to MT4, and I wanted to help me out. Okay, so we connecting to MT4. What you have to do is come to MT4, come to your tools, go to MT4 and activate it. So once you activate it, there will be a message that will drop to your email. They send to your email. So go to your email and copy the the login and the password, and it will be connected immediately. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thompson, please can you meet Thompson? No, only this guy that. I'm saying no, the YouTube guys takes question from YouTube. Uh, please, any question from YouTube? Uh, yeah. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you doing? Yes, yes. Andrew Lawrence. Yeah, I'm. I'm calling from UK, but the the uh, by bite is not working. I'll be trying. So, is it possible you use uh, uh MT4, MT5? The bad, why is Bible not working? What, which country are you in? From Bitcoin, UK. I've tried and tried, it's not verified. By, by Byte and the, the wave, they're not working for me. Also, there are ways you can do that for it to start working for you, all right? So just use VPN and put your location to be like Nigeria, then put in your details and you'll be able to open an account with the wave or Bybit at the same time, okay? Yeah, I've done that. I've done that twice. I've, I've ended up creating two two accounts i okay. created two accounts and still the same result coming up then you're doing properly that's the way you do it if you want to use your vpn and connect to it and make sure your vpn is on it is on bit and also on there is no matter what you still will need to connect no matter what you need to connect to bybit to be able to connect to mt4 yeah so if you can't open an account with bybit so there's no even point even connecting to mt4 you understand I know you're probably thinking maybe there's a way we can connect to MT4 so you get to trade it the same way you'll be training your Forex. Uh, there's no way you yeah. just need to sign up on Bybit. So if Bybit is not in your region, there's no way to even do it without that. So at least you need a VPN. You guys don't want us to make money in UK. Uh, it's not okay. me, it's your, it's your government. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, when I call, I'll, I'll be coming uh, in three weeks. When I come, I'll visit the office. Maybe I could sort it out there. Yeah, then you can sign up a Nigerian uh, document. That's a lot more better. All right. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. So let's take some questions on YouTube. So, say, sir, please, I have $3. Can I place trade? Yes, you can place trade with $3. But then, would you, is it sustainable? No. All right. I saw that question again. That's really very important. Uh, Mr. William, is there no provision for leverage for crypto trading? No, what we use, leverage? what we use here in that 10x I was telling you about is what is the leverage that um, crypto gives you. So for you to be able to open that position, you have to times it by the current amount that you want to risk. So let's say that you want to risk $10 out of $100. So you have to do is 10x or whichever amount of leverage you choose, be it 50 times the amount of money that you're risking. That gives you the other value to place on that place on Bybit. The reason for that is if you open just ten dollars, if you open just ten dollars on Bybit, it will not be able to open that contract size for you. Okay, exactly. All right. Yeah. So let's take some more questions on YouTube too, so you can balance everything. Now. Someone said I can't verify my Bybit in Nigeria. Then there's something I'm not doing right. Zia is not uploading the document. Check probably. the video. The video that I, I will upload, check YouTube. YouTube really happy. Don't worry, don't worry. Let them okay. check it. Uh, someone had also said, How the dollars cost averaging works? We'll talk about that on a different topic. 
And on YouTube again, someone also said, um, what is the mean of dollar cost averaging? And so we're going to talk, that's a different topic. I'm going to talk about that. Which one is better between swing trading and day trading? William, talk about swing trading and day trading. All right. So swing trading is basically what Raymond do basically in fire peeps. Where? Yeah? We swing, Dr. We swing, if you know you. So yes, um, we swing trading is just you going over to the monthly time frame, then taking your entries on the four hours or daily time frame. While day traders, we just need the money now, now. We won't waste time. So this day trading, especially day trading is just coming to the daily time frame, then making your entries, checking the raw direction of the daily time frame, then taking your entries on the 15 minutes. And this is this example, this example of what we just did now. This example of day trading, come to the 15 minutes to do or to make your entries. We also have scalping. Scalping do their entries on the three minutes or on the one minute time frame at the same time, okay? So that is the, that is the difference between day trading and swing trading. All right. So, who is that? It's on Zoom, I guess. What's his name? That's okay. the reason of his answers. You want to meet that guy? Hi. Yeah, how you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, um, on this current trade, um, we are talking about the interest uh, On this current trade, call. So I want to understand what time frame do you need to have for retracement and like you want to go in again or oh, is because of what you said that it's going to retrace back. I want to know the time frame you like you want to enter again after the um, after once the candle goes out and what time frame before you enter it again. Okay, so retracement happens on every time frame. There's no particular time frame retracement do not happen. So retracement happens on every time frame and there are principles that we using retracements for every positive move that markets have will do there'll be a corrective move. So that corrective move is what we call the retracement. And for you to be able to get this retracement, is you using your Fibonacci retracement, coming over to this two, fib, like your Fibonacci retracement, then plotting from the recent, from the recent low to the recent high to get your Fibonacci retracement being plotted. So there are levels to look out for well trading Fibonacci retracement. That is 2.36, 3.82, 61.8, 0.5, and 78.7, 0.786. That's the, that is the levels to look out for when you're using Fibonacci retracement. So but for Fibonacci retracement, it's being done on all time frames. Be it okay, so my, my last question is that you, you said we should up out, like, is it that there's no value being in our own? I didn't say you should up out. I said you should re-enter when you start seeing a candlestick reaction here. This is what I'm saying. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you start seeing candlestick reaction around this area, when you start a candlestick reaction, when you start seeing, like, a burnout on the candle, and an engulfing candlestick, please, it's safe to enter for your buy. This is where we're going to hop out, around this area. Okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Mm. All right. So that, that should be the much that we can take for today. So thank you guys for coming on today's stream. Thank you, Williams. Uh, I would like you to give a part. Before you go, no, no, no. Come and give a parting word. What you should be expecting for this week? I just say it. My mic can't cover for you. All right, as you all know, I don't want to talk too much. Maybe resolve the show now. So what I'm expecting is back-to-back -back wins this year, this week, and particularly Jeff. Jeff, do you have a ball? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so this week, you guys should expect the chart is my vow. I'm married to the chart, so I'm going to be trading back-to-back, -back, both London, New York, Sydney, everything. I'm going to be trading. That's what I did last week, too, and it did really pay off. And i also let you guys know from the Telegram channel, anytime I'm in on a trade that I see that is valuable for both newbie and advanced trader, I'm going to send that to, to, the, uh, to the channel. Last week, we didn't lose any trade. Like, so it was back-to-back -back wins. I made crazy amount of money last week, and I'm hoping to replicate same or even three times better this week. So, guys, this is the best time for you to be part of the Telegram channel. Look for the link everywhere. Look for the link right now in the description box and be part of the Telegram channel. We're going to be sharing free signals premium signals to you guys. It's going to be free, but then it's 100% premium. All right, so guys, that be, and Fire Peep, uh, like you guys to know that in Fire Peep, we are still taking in new students. Um, you guys should make sure you come to firepeepfx.com, click on that link, and be a part of the mentorship. These are the mentorship plans that are available for you. Remember, if you are planning on wanting to join mentorship because of signals, don't do that. 
you really want to learn, you want to be free, that's when you should be a part of this mentorship. Where you want to be learning and be trading with people live. All right? 24 7 you should be conversing you should have a community where you belong to so that's when you come on here so we also have all our classes that we've ever had recorded at the back end so you get access to that for free since 2021 all the courses are all recorded and we also have the short form content that is also recorded where you can just go directly to a particular subject matter to like what is a peep what is spread what is dollar cost averaging how to double down how to flip an account, how to pass a prop firm, how to all these things are at the back end. So this website is still being organized right now as a time we speak, but in about three weeks or two weeks' time, everything should be 100% organized. So that means it's the best time for you to still be in the mentorship. All right, guys. I'd love to see you guys in the better side of things. Until then, I am with the people on the team here saying, see you guys, same time, same place on Monday. Bye.